I recall a few years ago how some people laughed at me when I said the Jews were going to keep Sunday holy when the mark is enforced because Christian prophecy simply can't be changed. It's going to happen. Well, they all laughed, of course, until the Jews announced in May of 2007 that they will keep Sunday as a Sabbath. Still, some continued laughing because it was only a bill and not an actual law. But on February 23, 2013, that bill was passed into law. And then it only took Rome four more years to convince the Jews to pass another law that this time would actually make it legal to break the true Sabbath of God, as I share in this video. And that happened in April of 2017. Next, the people laughed at me when I said the Seventh-day Adventists would eventually keep Sunday holy as well, seeing how they no longer obey the Lord. Those that laughed said, it's one thing for the Jews who don't really know the Lord to pass a law that breaks the Sabbath, but the Seventh-day Adventists? No, they're Christians who keep the true Sabbath of the Bible, and so they would never do such a thing. But then the laughing stopped again when it was discovered that the Seventh-day Adventist Church actually opened dozens of Sunday-keeping churches so as to stay in business when the mark is enforced. And not too long ago, people laughed once again when I said the Muslims will also end up keeping Sunday holy because Christian prophecy is that accurate. Well, I do believe the laughing is once again about to stop when those scoffers see this. The United Arab Emirates just announced some big changes to its work schedule. The Gulf nation is transitioning to a 4.5 day work week with weekends to consist of Friday afternoon, Saturday, and Sunday. That's significant for two reasons. It likely makes the United Arab Emirates the first nation to formalize a work week shorter than five days, and it also brings the country more in line with Western schedules. Up until now, the United Arab Emirates has had a Friday-Saturday weekend, which is the standard in many predominantly Muslim countries. Thank you for watching. God bless.